Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to uh, FitFab Workouts. Today is Tuesday and it is our core fit session. So for core fit today, I mean, kind of like what we've been doing every week lately, you're gonna be using two cushions and actually two cushions, um, not the ball this week. We're not gonna be using the ball, but we'll just use the two cushions the main bulk of our session today is going to be focused on balance and stability, okay? Because before we mobilize, we have to stabilize. And so we're going to have part of our session where we're going to be standing and part of our session where we're going to be on the mat as always. So grab your two pillows or your two cushions, right? And the reason we use two is because I really want to play around on that unstable surface, okay? Make sure you've got some water. And let us begin. So place those pillows in front of you. Go ahead, plant the feet together, shoulder width apart. And what I want you to do is I want you to place your two index fingers on the tip of your shoulders, right? And then just open your arms down as if you're kind of doing the down phase of a bicep curl. Look down and your toes should be fitting within the frame of those index fingers, right? Your feet should be within that frame. If they're further away, then it's wider than the shoulders. And if, this, if there seems to be too much space on either side, they're within. So you should be roughly fingertips on the index on the edge of the shoulder and come down. Good. And then establish, let's work on establishing the base into the ground. So I want you to curl your toes up towards the ceiling and feel that the, the soles, the balls of the feet are really pressing into the floor, right? Okay. Good, and as you're doing this, this should actually require you to scoop through your tailbone, engage through the legs, so flexing the quadriceps and squeezing the glutes, okay? And I forgot to mention, for this session, it's best if you're bare feet or with socks, no shoes, because this is gonna help with that stability and balance, so we work on all these little proprioceptors in the feet. There you go, so we're here, We've, we're planting the balls of the feet, we're lifting the toes up, and down. So let's just work on that first. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Now let's just shift the body weight forward and back. Right? We can feel the body weight moving. When you come forward, you're having to press a little bit more in the toes. When you go back, you're having to press a little bit more in the heel. And then let's do the same shifting sideways, going towards the inside and outside of the feet, inside and outside on the other side, right? So getting into our perineals and our pronators, pronator muscles, because they, you know, we always say, oh, you're overpronating, that's why we're overpronating, but we need to be able to pronate and supinate, right? We need all these guys to be working evenly. And then let's just go and do some like little circles, so very gently, imagine you're kind of like on a, on a, on a little pivot here, and you kind of slowly moving around. Right, view like a stick anchor, and then you have like the balls, the feet are the balls at the bottom, and your body is just that stick that's just moving around. Good, all right, nice. Now, from here, let's take our grounding breaths inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, bring the palms together down in front of your heart center. Close your eyes here and take a moment to check in with. Yourself, see how, how everything is feeling. Good, excellent. All right, so from here, what we're going to do now, we're going to take those pillows, put them on the floor, stand on them, same principle, feet are shoulder width apart, right? And the first thing we're going to do is again establish, see how that feels when you're shifting that body weight forward and back and side to side. You're going to notice that you're being put out of balance a little bit more than you were before, okay? And that it's requiring you to engage a little bit more through that core region. Good, all right, from here, let's come up onto the tiptoes and down, and up and down, good. We're gonna do that 10 times, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Great job. We're going to step down and then we're going to step back on with just one foot 
on the in the middle in the center and then the other one is off so you can have it either behind you or in front or on the side just try not to cross the midline it's going to shift you out of balance and try not to have it too high on the side it's also going to shift you out of balance so as long as you respect kind of your midline all right so here same thing let's go forward and back on that foot see how that feels onto the balls of the feet this will help you identify are you feeling some instability in the ankle, in the foot, or in the knee, because sometimes it can also be the knee, right? Good, and then from here, let's go see if you can lift the heel up, come onto the tiptoe, there we go. So we do 10, nine, eight, seven, try not to look down, look ahead of you, scoop through your tailbone, make sure you're really squeezing those glutes. Four, three, two, one, release down, shake it out, and let's go ahead onto the other side. So, uh, foot down into the middle of the of the pillow, lift the other foot up, and then let's, let's just play around with that balance to the front, to the back, to the side. And once we found ourselves, this is my bad side. Well, no, we shouldn't say it's our bad side. It's my side that is not as strong, <laughs> right? And we come up. And two, and three, and four. Put your hands on your hips. Make sure you're squaring those hips and you're not completely sinking over. Five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Come on off. Here's what we're going to do next. The next one's going to sound super simple, but I'm building our way up because we're gonna go on to those lunges that we did yesterday using that instability, all right? So first things first, we're gonna go up, drive one leg up, come down, switch foot, bring the other foot up, down, and we're gonna start going a little bit faster. We're gonna do this for one minute in total, and the goal is really to try to avoid all this like funkiness, right? We try to be as stable as we can be, bringing the knee up, exhaling, and trying not to swing the hips. Good, now let's add some arm motion. Bring the press up on the opposite arm, good. And press, nice. Press, we got 30 seconds to go. Press, and knee kick, press, good. Press, nice job, 15 seconds. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Beautiful. All right, you ready? We're gonna go onto those lunges. So before we go onto those lunges, let's just start with a classic squat with instability. So we'll do a squat with both feet on the on the pillows, and then we'll do it with one on the pillow and then the other on the pillow. Okay, and then we'll go to those lunges. We're not gonna do sets as long as we normally do because we wanna work slowly to really focus on that control. So let's start first with a shoulder width apart, gentle squat. So scoop through the tailbone, engage those lower abdominals, and here we go. We're gonna come down, up. So we're gonna do 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now we do the same, but we're going to come up onto our tiptoes. So you ready? So it goes arms behind, come on up. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Hold at the top on the tiptoes. Hold at the top. Good. And then see if you can come just on one foot, lifting the other foot off. And then see if you can change feet. Good job. All right, try again. Yes. One foot on the tiptoes and then switch sides. And use your breath, right? 
Try to exhale. The more you exhale, the more you're going to feel yourself grounded in the floor. Good job. All right. Let's put the pillow one side. Slightly wider than shoulder, more hip width. One foot is on the pillow. The other one is on the ground. You ready? Ten again. It goes ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. I want you to pay, we're going to do that one more time. I want you to pay attention to how it feels differently in both legs. I also want you to pay attention to how your hips are going and make sure you're not shifting the hips to one side or the other. So here we go, back to 10, 9, 8, press evenly on both feet, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job, rise up and switch sides. And here we go, foot on that pillow again, feet slightly wider than those shoulders, two sets of ten again. So here we go, it goes one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work, round two. Focus on how it feels in between both legs. Reset yourself, scoop through that tailbone, lift the pelvis to the belly button. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. All right. Let's grab a quick sip of water and we're going to move into those lunges which will be our last standing exercises. So, let's start with the first, this first side. So here's how it's gonna go. You're actually gonna come into a four, into a reverse lunge, and then a forward lunge, right? And we'll just do four on each side, okay? So, let me just adjust this so I have this space here. There we go. All right, so, standing with both feet, on those cushions, take a step back, lunge down. You're staying the foot on that pillow, rise up, going straight into a forward lunge. Come on down, rise up, come straight into that back lunge. Good, that was one. And two, and notice how the transition from that first, from that front lunge back to the back lunge is quite challenging on that balance, whoa. Okay, so watch out for that. So we only do four, but we stay super laser focused on the movement and on the alignment. Last one coming up. And four, great job. How did that feel? Good, challenging, right? But good, this is so important to do. On the, for the stability of the ankle, the knee, and the hip. It gets those three joints to learn how to stabilize together, right? Which we need to when we're running, for example. And imagine there's a little rock that comes. You want to make sure that if the ankle isn't going to catch it, the knee or the hip is going to stabilize, otherwise you tumble. And then this happens, remember? All right, so other foot on the pillow. And here we go. Back lunge, come on up, front lunge, come on up, back lunge, come on up, front lunge, come on up, back lunge, come on up, front lunge, good, last one, and back, and front, beautiful, all right, great job. We're going to go into our side lunge now, so for this one, we're going to do two different types. We're going to do the one where the standing, the anchor leg is on the cushion and we come down into the lunge, come on up and bring that knee up. And then the second one we'll do is 
we'll have the anchor leg on the firm ground, we'll come and lunge down on the instable one and come back up, okay? So same principle, we'll do four of each on each side, okay? You ready? So here we go. So anchor leg on the pillow, take a step out, lunge down, come on in, bring that knee up, step out, lunge down two, come on in, bring that knee up. Number three, down in, bring the knee up, and four, in, good. And now we reverse, stand on the firm ground, anchor leg on the firm ground, lunging leg on the other, step out, come on down, rise up, in, step out, lunge down, rise up, in, good. And three, Good, last one, four. Great job, let's switch sides. See how little modifications like this can just completely change the same exercises, right? But just playing on that uh, mobility. All right, so we have the anchor leg is on the, is on the pillow. Step out, lunge, come on in, bring the knee up, Woo. That's one. Down, back in, and two. Down, in, and three. Down, in, and four. Good job. Let's switch sides. We bring the instability on the, on the uh, uh, lunging leg. Sorry, what am I doing? The pillow stays in the same place. <laughs> Losing my mind here. So standing on the firm ground, Anchor leg is on the firm ground. We step out, lunge leg on the pillow, and come on in. Step out, down, and in. Step out, down, and in. Last two, down, and in. Last one, down, and in. Good job. All right, beautiful. Let's take a short hydration break and we'll take it down to the floor. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do on the floor. We're gonna work a little bit on shoulder mobility, uh, shoulder stability, sorry. So just as if you were gonna do a push-up, right, you're gonna have one hand on the pillow. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invert these exercises. We're gonna start first with the plank on the pillow then we're gonna do five push-ups with one hand on the pillow. We'll come up, we'll switch to the other side, five push-ups with the hand on the pillow. Okay, that works. Um, you can stay on your knees if you want to. It's not so much about the strength today, it's really about focusing on the stability within those key joints, okay? So um, I, I don't necessarily want you to challenge yourself, I want you to Really tune into the body and those joints and see how that's feeling, okay? So that's that's what we're working on because with that strength will come afterwards, all right? So let's start with the plank. So you're going to hold your pillows. Um, they should be shoulder width apart. If they're not, just um, spread them out a little bit and then just put one on each side, okay? Good, all right. But you can also put them diagonal like this. All right, so here we go. We're going to hold a plank here. Right, and just feel what it's like to be on that, to have the hands on the pillows. Good. Stay here for another 10 counts. Breathe. And then before we drop the knees, we're going to come down on the forearms for this plank. And here you go. Come down on the forearms here. Still on the pillows, on the cushions. 10 counts here. Good. And then come back up on your hands. Notice how that is. Try not to, to use the firm ground. Try to stay with the instability aspect of the exercise. We'll come back on our forearms. Back on the forearms here. Good work. And then come back up once more on the hands. Breathe through this. And then we're going to come back on the forearms for the last one, here. Good. 
Good, and turn, your knees down. Great job. All right, so how did that feel? Notice how that felt in your shoulders. Maybe it required you to use all other parts of the body a little bit more. Right, let's go into that push-up as I was saying. So for this, you're gonna place one hand in the middle of the pillows and the other hand, just as if you're doing a push-up, but one hand's under the pillow, right? We wanted to make it a wide one, so don't be too narrow, keep the um, arms out and they need to be aligned with the chest, so we're really getting into pectoral muscle, one of the stabilizers of the, of the shoulder. So here we go, I'm gonna do five, right? So we come down one and up. Two, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, three. We're taking our time, down, four, and down, five. Great job. Switch the cushions onto the other side, right? Nice and wide here, align with the chest, and here we go. We go down, one, and up. And exhale up two, inhale down, exhale up three, inhale down, exhale up four, last one coming up, inhale down, exhale up five, great job. All right, give your wrist a little shake here and let's work on, um, what was I saying, uh, balance. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> well, see, this is what happens when you wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> by, by 12 o'clock, you feel as if you've already had a full day, <laughs> right? I know David understands because he gets up early like me. All right, so you're going to sit on your pillows now, okay? And here's what we're going to play with. We're going to play with that instability. So this is going to be kind of easier because obviously the whole center weight of our body is on it so it's grounding those pillows a little bit more it'd be more challenging if we were using a bosu but this is good already and here's what we're going to do we're going to try and balance ourselves on the pillows right and then what we're going to do is we're going to try and do some gentle rotations with the torso right so you might be tempted to hold on to the back of your legs i mean you can if you want to if it's really helping you Keep a straight back, but don't too much. What we're working on here is lower abdominals, lower back, right, and hip flexors. Yes. So a couple more. So you're drawing little circles with your torso. So imagine you have like a crayon on the tip of your head and you're kind of trying to draw a circle, right? Good, and let's go in the reverse direction. We don't put the feet on the floor. The feet are hovering above the floor. Getting the obliques involved also with this circular motion. Breathe, you got it. Nice work. A few more seconds here. Less than 10. You're doing so good. Keep lifting those legs. And time, release down. Good job, all right. We'll come back to this in a sec. We're gonna just shift those pillows off the feet, uh, off the glutes, sorry, and we're gonna plant our feet in them, right? And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come and do some glute bridges, right? So we're gonna do just 10 regular with both feet on the floor, and then we'll put the feet together. We're gonna have one foot on the pillow but with the um, heel digging into the pillow. So flexing the toe towards the shin, right? Why? Because it's gonna activate the hamstring and it's gonna get that hamstring to work along with that hip stability, okay? So I know uh, there's a lot of signs there in anatomy, but when once we understand how the body functions, we're able to establish those neuromuscular connections so much better and we become so much more efficient and tuned in because we're up, oh, yeah, that's my hamstring. That's my bacon, <laughs> right? All right, feet flatter on the um, cushions, scoop the tailbone under, peel it up, we come up and down for 10, nine, eight. If you want to bring your arms parallel, you can, like this, so with the uh, fingers pointing towards the ceiling, 
and ensuring that both your shoulder blades are touching the floor, the mat, right? They're not lifting up, they're touching. Good, three, two, one, great job. Release down, you're gonna place both feet together, flex the feet on the pillows, and lift up, and then lift one leg up here, right? And we're just gonna go tiny little ones here. 10, nine, eight, keep stable through the hips. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, switch sides, plant that heel into that pillow, find the heel into the pillow, lift up with both feet together, lift one leg up, and here we go, tiny little ones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We release down, and we start again one more time, but this time, instead of being on our heels, we're gonna be on our tiptoes. So feet together, knees together, on your tiptoes on that pillow. Lift one leg up, and tiny little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure both glutes are working. And nine, 10, release down, and reset yourself on the tiptoes, feet together, and lift that leg up, and here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, bring the knees to the chest, and roll around, nice. Let's just quickly stretch the glutes and the hamstring whilst we've got them here. So go ahead into that recline figure four. Make sure it's not your ankle that's on the, on the quad, right? Make sure that it's your, your calf that's on that quadriceps. We don't want to use the, the joints as ankles, right? Here, grab the back of that thigh, the straight one, and see so if you can lengthen that leg. And with that lengthened leg, you're gonna flex the foot and point the foot, right? And notice how you've got your hand on that hamstring, how when you're flexing, it's elongating that hamstring, right? Good. Nice work, bend that leg, come over to the other side, switch over, grab the back of the other thigh, rise up, and here we go, we point and flex. And feeling that nice hamstring. Good, release down, come on up. Let's sit on those pillows again. I'm gonna flip mine over because I feel that I've kind of started digging my body weight into the pillow. So flipping them over, getting them in stable again. We sit there, right? Lean back a little bit, arms in front, bring the feet off the ground, and here you go with those little circles, right? Drawing those circles with the torso. So the legs aren't moving, right? It's just your torso moving around. Like I said, if you feel the need to hold onto the back of the thighs because it's helping you, do so. But the tendency when we do that is we collapse when we lean back. So I really want you to focus on lifting that chest up and having a nice long back. And reverse direction. This is our last exercise. We stretch and we're done after this. Breathe good. Give me three more little circles, and two, and the last one. Good job. All right, go ahead, release those cushions, stand up, right? We're gonna take a nice stretch. So you're gonna take a step forward, like lunging forward, right? The back leg, the back leg is on the toes. Scoop through the tailbone. Really put your hands there and go scooping through the tailbone. Feel the stretch here in that hip flexor. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center, length, and try to see if you can press that back heel down and push the arms behind you. Feel a full stretch from right the front of the shoulders all the way through that hip flexor and the back 
of um, that calf. Keep scooping through that tailbone, right? The more you scoop, the more you're gonna be able to stretch that hip flexor. And if you need to, imagine you're pulling back this arm right here, opening that chest there. And release, shake it out. Take a second here, notice one side of the stretch compared to the other. Let's go to the other side. So we take one step forward, we're into that lunge, that back leg is on its toe, scoop through that tailbone, lifting that pelvis towards the belly button, right? We're here. Inhale the arms up, exhale, lean back. Inhale, center, exhale, one side. Inhale, center, exhale, other side. Inhale, center, roll the arms back. Push the heel down to the floor, keep scooping in, right? Open those arms behind you and then bring that arm, just like you were doing a push up earlier and just push it behind you. Feel all this just opening and stretching up. Keep scooping through, right? And then release down. Great work, go ahead. Stand with those feet shoulder width apart. Come onto your tiptoes a couple of times just to see how that feels. If maybe you're a little bit more stable on your feet now than before. Let's inhale together up. Bring palms to touch slowly. Exhale down. And just take a moment. Tune in in the body, the mind, how everything is feeling. And good job. Great work, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we... You know, I sent a little note to everyone to see if there were things you wanted to work on more or less. Um